today I wanted to do a Naked 3 palette kind of review, demo, swatching, my opinions on it because the Naked 3 palette just came out and I've been looking forward to it for a really long time because the only eyeshadows I wear are from the Naked palettes. I just think they're so easy. I love them so much. There's nothing wrong with them to me and I love them so I was so excited when I found out that Urban Decay was actually releasing a Naked 3 palette. I was going crazy so I got online right when it came out and I ordered two of them, not four, two, because I got one for myself and I'm going to be giving one of you guys a Naked 3 palette. So if you want a chance to win a Naked 3 palette, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below why you would want to win a Naked 3 palette. Where would you wear it to? What would you do with it? Why do you like it so much? Do you like rose gold? I like rose gold. So make sure to do all that stuff. I'll put all the info in the down description bar thingy, and I'm going to get right into the Naked 3 so this naked palette is mine and then this one is the one I'm going to be giving away so I'm not gonna touch this one even though I just want to touch it so bad it's that anyone who wins it has my DNA all over it so the first the packaging came like this with some stuff in the box it came with the um, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion just a little sample but then it also came with this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion but it has like the original, the Sin kind, the anti-aging one, and the Eden one. It says they have like a week's worth of it, but then once you open the thing, you can't use it again. So it's not a week's worth. But, oh my god, this is the prettiest packaging. This is definitely my favorite packaging so far out of all of the Naked palettes because it's just so pretty. So if you can tell, this is definitely a rose gold palette where Naked one is more of just a brown mattes kind of like naked nude colors and then the naked two was more kind of gray smoky eye with still the more naked colors the naked basic palette is just all matte besides one of them just really neutral easy everyday colors and then this one is the rose gold kind of colored palette but i definitely like this one more than naked two already because i don't wear pretty much any of the colors in Naked 2 unless I'm doing my makeup for a special occasion because it's a lot of darker colors and a lot of more gray toned which doesn't really flatter my skin. So I think the rose gold can definitely be flattering on a ton of skin tones and definitely is more wearable than a smoky eye type of palette. Not saying Naked 2 is totally smoky eye but it's definitely a little more smoky than Naked 1. So I'm going to show you what's inside. So I pretty much swatched all of these and the first one is the color Strange and it's a matte white. and. At first I was like, oh, this is kind of like chalky, but I actually put it on my eye and it's not as pigmented as you would think. It's kind of, it's not sheer at all. It's definitely a nice matte white, but it's not too matte and it's not too overpowering. So you can build it up a little, but it's definitely a great highlight and inner corner color. The color Dust, um, whenever I use it, I use it with a brush and my finger. It's definitely more of a flaky, glittery color. When I put it on my finger, it kind of has a lot of fallout I can kind of shake it all off of my finger actually but it's a really 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 pretty glittery kind of not glittery color but more of that foiled eye look so I think that's really pretty and I just love the rosy pink of it burnout I think is also a gorgeous color it's more like a rosy nude to me with a lot of shimmer whereas limit is the next one and is more of a nude rosy color that's matte so I really like these two I think the first four and maybe even the next two could all be worn together on your eye so I really like that but I think that personally I would need kind of a brown or something to break up all of the rosy colors. I'm not sure. Buzz is another shimmery color but this one gets a little darker and goes more towards the purpley side. I think it's also really pretty and picks up and is not as flaky. Next color is Trick and it's this gold color and I think it's really pretty. It's just a gold. It also has that kind of like flaky um, foiled look to it and it's not as pigmented as you would think but it's definitely really colorful and builds well on your eye. The color Nooner is the only color I didn't really like that much. It's definitely pigmented but it's a matte kind of grayish purpley color. I'm not sure where I would wear this on my eye whether it was in the crease or the outer corner. It's just kind of a more purple toned as opposed to brown warm toned to where I'm like eh, I don't know if it would really flatter my skin tone. And then Liar is the next one. This is just a really pretty light brown almost taupey color that has a lot of shimmer in it and is also very pigmented and picks up really nicely not as much fallout as the other shimmery colors then it's factory this kind of reminds me of I think there's already a color kind of like this it's just a nice shimmery rich brown but it definitely does have more 
cooler tones in it than the warm tones as opposed to the Naked 1 or 2 palette. Mugshot I thought I'd seen before from Urban Decay, so I was kind of like, oh, I think I have this color already, but apparently all these colors are new. So I thought this one was great. I think it's definitely really pigmented and great for a more smoky eye, except not with brown and not with black. It's kind of that in-between. I'm not sure what other colors I would wear this with in the palette, but I really like it because it's a matte charcoal color, which is great for smokier looks. And then Black Heart is, I think, my favorite dark color of the palette because it has a brown in it, but it also has gold flakes in it. So overall, I think I really, really like this palette. I've used it once so far, and I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now. I'll show you guys a close-up. I think it's super super pretty and girly which is why I like it I think it's really feminine and it's just pretty to look at it's so far pretty on the eyes there's a lot you can do with it you can build it up to a darker colors with these dark ones or you can just keep it really neutral but like I said a rosy neutral undertone which is really pretty I think I'll use this a lot more in the summertime when I'm a little more tanner and glowy I think that would be super 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 pretty but since I am not as tan as I am in the summer I'm gonna take advantage of kind of like the lighter colors to do a more frosted rosy look so I'm really excited to use this palette and I can't wait to kind of get more in depth with it and everything but so far so good to me I really like it I think the pigmentation of a lot of them is good it's not overpowering some of them like dust I said are a little flaky and even strange was like I kind of had to build it up a little bit so I'm still kind of figuring out if I like this palette like a 10 out of 10 but right now it's definitely an 8 out of 10 for me so far between packaging coloring everything I think it's beautiful and I would love for you guys to have one you should enter the giveaway if you guys want to see tutorials with this palette leave a comment below as well thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video Bye.